Now, for part two of my lesson, I wanted to go back to something we did on the quiz where we had these two sets. Um, like, let's take, take these two sets here. And I wanted to do a retain all on them in order to get an intersection. And so we did like this. OK, and now what I want to do here is I've created the hash set and I've added these numbers. I've created a tree set. I've added these numbers. And uh, now I'm doing an intersection and now I'm going to print the results. And you can see that's where they overlap. Now, there was a question like this on the quiz and you're used to doing this all the time. And this can get you into a really bad habit, which I just want to talk about today. And that habit is as a programmer, you want to avoid destroying data. And here you can see that because I'm too lazy to create a third set, uh, and I'm doing this, I'm destroying the previous hash set that was there. If I want to go back now and look at those elements, I can't do that. This is especially a dangerous thing to do inside a method call where someone hands you two sets and asks you to find the union and return it. And then what do you do? You destroy one of the sets in the process to accomplish your work. Now, in practice, sorry, in theory, in theory, they're supposed to clone their sets before they're giving them to you because they shouldn't trust you. Okay, but no one does that. No one does that in programming. They just trust you by handing you the sets. They ask for the union. You should really create a third set, make a union out of that, and then return that, and don't destroy the user data.